Shalom, brothers and sisters. Um, it's going well. The ministry is really busy. This is your update. Uh, I am leaving this weekend to go to a drug rehabilitation center about four hours away from where I live to go and minister there to someone who desperately needs some ministry and Jesus spoken into their lives. So I'll be doing that. Please keep us in prayer as we travel to go and fulfill what God wants us to do there and make an impact for the kingdom of God. Uh, Bible distribution, uh, bless you everyone that has been <laughs> donating for the Bibles in North Korea, for the Bibles here locally and everything. It's been helping us. As fast as I'm getting Bibles in, they are going out. So I am still constantly just having to order more and more Bibles as that comes in and those Bibles are going out. So it is making an impact. I just bless all of you for being part of that work. And again, now we have a school that has approached us that wants 50 Bibles for their children. So we're praying on that and seeing what we can do because we don't quite have enough of that exact Bible that they need for now. So we're looking into that. And yeah, God is in control. Time is short. World events are off the charts. Um, my mother's health so far is good. She's doing good. She thanks everyone for your prayers and constant thinking of her and asking about her. So the Lord is good there. Pain is manageable and she continues to serve the Lord and, and just trust in him. And my wife's doing great. So thank you for that. My daughter's healthy. My son is fine. We're good as a family and we are in the field. We're serving the Lord and we will continue to do so. I will be here every chance I get ministering to you as the Lord lays it on my heart. And you know what? I want to tell you this. I could be making videos all day, every day about how close we are to the time, all the things with regard to the time and all these things going on. And I do from time to time touch on these things, but I prefer to sit with the Lord and seek the Holy Spirit for advice and let him guide me because this is God's ministry. And a lot of times God wants to encourage you with nuggets from the word of God, with deeper truth and with just feeding you more meat from the word of God and building you up so that you're stronger Christians, you're more prepared for the storm we're currently in in this boat and nothing phases you and you grow stronger and stronger in relationship with him. So you'll see a lot more of that and I'll be getting back into the Hebrew probably early next week. We'll, we've done Aleph and Bet, we'll be doing Gimel. So I'll be jumping straight into Gimel. I'm excited about that touching on Gimel and then going straight into Dalet. There's some beautiful revelations. I just want to pull together in the first four letters of the Hebrew alphabet that you're really going to love. So that's what we're doing. I'm responding to emails as fast as I can when I'm not out in the field working, busy ministering to people, handing out Bibles and doing all these other things. Then I hop onto my email when I can and respond where I can. So if it takes a bit longer than usual, or if my answers seem a little bit shorter than usual, it's because I'm touching base everywhere and I'm not complaining. I absolutely love being busy for the Lord. Sleep when you're dead. Until then, work for the Lord. The retirement benefits are fantastic. And we know our pickup is really, really soon. I've got some comfortable pillows lying in the naughty corner. I cannot wait to get up there. But God, I will occupy until he collects me. And while I'm occupying, I will be sharing the love of Jesus Christ. My passion and my heart for God and God's heart for people. Because we love what God loves. And we seek to be more like him and to walk like him and to live like him and to share him with the nations. And that is what we'll keep doing and touching lives and making a difference and getting food to people that need it and getting Bibles to people that need it and seeing where the Lord can use us to touch lives and make this final stretch in the race just that little bit easier. And all the while encouraging one another and praying for one another always think twice before you want to break down a brother or a sister you don't agree with or you want to argue with a brother or sister stop breathe speak to the lord how can i approach this in love we don't have a lot of time let's be an army that strengthens each other and marches together and holds one another up and marches towards that finish line gathering from the field as we pass through god bless bless 
Have a fantastic day. We love you and we are always praying for you. Let your prayer requests constantly come in the comments. As I see them, I pray immediately and I'll comment immediately as I see it. So when you see me reply, no, I'm praying for you and I'm sharing that with people who can pray for you. Power in prayer, people. Power. Pray. Shalom.